Okay, I'm going to do a few examples of solving linear equations, uh, solving equations with algebraic fractions. These two examples turn out to be linear equations, and then I'll do two more examples that have quadratic equations. So to start with, um, we, uh, we when we've got fractions, the, the most useful technique for getting rid of fractions is to multiply through by the, the denominators. So this x plus 4 that's on the bottom of this fraction, if I times this fraction by x plus 4 and times this fraction by x plus 4, then this bit and this bit cancels to leave me with 8 equals 28 lots of x plus 4 over x minus 1. Then I multiply by this fraction x minus 1, so I times this side by x minus 1 and I times this side by x minus 1 so that this bit and this bit cancels to leave me with 8 lots of x minus 1 equals 28 lots of x plus 4. And now we've got a linear equation. Um, this is uh, technically a grade C question because we've got x's on both sides and some brackets. So we multiply out the brackets to get uh, 8x minus 8 equals 28x plus 28 lots of 4 um, 420 is 80 and 32 makes 112. If I subtract 8 from both sides, I end up with 20x here. So minus 8 equals 20x plus 112. Take away 112 from both sides, I get a minus 120 equals 20x. So divide by 20, I get x equals minus 6. Okay, another one with um, two, two fractions on one side and a number on the other. Still the same process. We multiply through by this x plus 5 times each term by x plus 5. So we times that by x plus 5, times this by x plus 5, and times this 4 by x plus 5. This pair of x plus 5's cancel to give me 4x minus one lot of x plus 5, which is just x plus 5 over x plus 1 and that equals 4 lots of x plus 5 times by this denominator so I get x plus 1 times that, x plus 1 times that and x plus 1 times that that allows these to cancel to give me the 4x x plus 1 minus 5 plus x equals 4 lots of x plus 5, x plus 1. Now this looks like it's going to be a quadratic because you've got x's times x's, but the the x squared terms should cancel. So 4x times x is 4x squared, 4x times 1 is 4x, take away x, take away 5, equals 4 times x, so we could actually multiply out this double bracket first. So we've got x times x, which is x squared, uh, x times 1 and 5 times x gives me 6x and 5 times 1 is 5. And then just multiply out that bracket. It gives me 4x squared plus 24x plus 20 and we've got 4x squared on this side and 4x squared on this side so if I take away 4x squared from both sides that actually cancels those two away we've got 4x minus x is 3x minus 5 equals 24x plus 20 so it's just a linear equation grade D equation in fact um, take away the 3x from both sides to give me minus 5 equals 21x plus 20 Take away the 20 to get minus 25 equals 21x, which implies x equals minus 25 over 21. And if you want to make that into a mixed number, you get minus 1 and 4 21sts.